Hey guys, today I'm gonna show you how to see through any obstructing object without the need to set up the scene. Okay, before we begin, the camera is jumping forwards like this. So we need to disable the camera collisions. Select the object, go to details, collisions and set the camera to overlap. This affects only the selected object though, so instead we will go to the player blueprint. We just select the camera boom and uncheck the do collision test. And now it works for all objects. In our scene, we have the camera, the main character and some objects. The idea is to scan which objects are between the camera and the player. Then we will apply a custom transparent material in order to see through them. Let's add a new material and call it M transparent occlusion. First set the blend mode to translucent. Then get the pixel depth and divide it by about 500. And finally set it as the opacity. Now if we apply the material we can see that if the camera gets closer the object is more transparent. Open the player blueprint. Now we are gonna use the multi-sphere trace by channel node to scan between the player and the camera for any obstructing objects. Our camera is named follow camera, so let's get its world location. This is gonna be the start point. Let's do the same for the player. It is named Mesh and its position is gonna be the endpoint. We will set the draw debug type so we can see what's happening and set the radius to 50. As you can see the endpoint is not in the center so let's fix that. Instead of the world location, we will use the origin of the object bounds. Let's also avoid scanning the player. We will compute LERP between the camera and the player. You can choose your own value for alpha but 0.8 worked the best for me. Next, we will iterate over the detected objects. Then, break hit the result, so we can get the component. And finally, we can set our custom material. This works fine, but as you can see, the material will stay like this forever. In order to restore the material, we will have to store a pair of object reference and material. Of course, we are gonna scan many objects, so it's gonna be an array of pairs. After we detect the blocking objects, we will save them in an array. Then we apply our custom material. In the next frame, the first thing we do is reset the original material. Then we clear the array. And finally, we can repeat the steps from before. Okay, so let's create a new structure. 
we will call it S component material tuple. The first attribute is gonna be component. With a type of primitive component object reference. The second attribute is material. With the type of material interface object reference. Next, we're gonna create a variable with the name hidden components. And the type is gonna be an array of component material tuple. Now, before we hide the object, we will add it and its original material to the array. Now that we have stored the hidden components, we can iterate over them and reset their original material. Finally, we will clear the array. And we are done! Now we can see through any object between the camera and the player. Some blueprints may consist of more than one material and we need to replace all of them, not just the first one. So let's fix that. In our structure, change the type of the material attribute to array. Then we need to get and set many materials instead of just one. So replace set material and get material nodes with these custom functions.